Hi, this is David Shepard with uh, vblog number 9 uh, for uh, the DFW Nerd Night Game Design Competition. Uh, basically checking in because at this point the game design it needs better artwork in order to be tested further to see if uh, I can tweak out any potential problems within the game. Uh, I will say that I had posted a picture of some of the artwork into the uh, competition on Facebook to overwhelmingly positive results, which surprised me and even surprised me further that all the mo uh, the uh, animals were represented of their actual uh, creatures. So nobody went, what the hell is that? Uh, they were all pretty much uh, apparent on what they were supposed to be. I will also say that I had gotten kind of delayed trying to finish up my entry for Kudo Plays Fashion Monster. Ooh, whether it's ready or not, it's turning in tomorrow, so uh, kind of wish I could have gotten more uh, artwork done on it, but my colorist kind of uh, didn't get as much done as we were hoping, so I got to enter that one, uh, which leads me to the next point on uh, the next game. My current game design still does not have an actual name. Uh, I want to call it Zudaman, but I'm sure that's a terrible name, awful, and I gotta come up with something better. Uh, as I said, I posted some of the artwork and a lot of people really dug it. The next challenge is getting enough of the artwork done. Now if I didn't have this next Friday deadline, uh, I would have loved to have spent time trying to make the pens all look uh, pristine, a bunch of uh, little details inside. Instead, what I'm looking at is just abstracting it, having the uh, creatures being what they are, and hopefully that's enough to represent the game and how I hope it'll play. Uh, so, the other thing that I'm doing, which kind of gives a bit of an insight as far as uh, my creative process is uh, I'm trying to make it to where all the components of the cards can just be plugged in and dropped inside the card template. So that means I'm going to be building a small assortment of uh, victory point conditions. I say small, there's 45 different types of ways to score victory points at the end of the game uh, based on the cards alone. Um, and then I'm going to have a set number of the uh, cost sections of the card as a bank to build up. And then I have a bunch of pens that are planned as well as buildings that I have to get done. I haven't done the uh, line art of the uh, buildings themselves yet. I have sketch art of 13 different little environmental uh, pieces to go inside each of the uh, five different regions of the zoo. I have a lot of stuff that can actually go into the full-on production of the game. Uh, I'm just going to have to suck it up and deal with turning in a uh, representative but not quite full art forward uh, version of the game into the competition. Uh, basically I'm hoping to get this round of artwork done sometime this weekend so that I can get it printed out at Staples and hopefully get tested within my uh, game group on Sunday. Um, it's a fairly simple game. As I said, my biggest regret right now is the fact that there's all these components that are in the game box itself that uh, I would have loved to have used for the purpose of the uh, competition, but the problem I'm having is they're not really adding anything to any of the game designs that I'm coming up with. So I'm ultimately stuck with the problem of uh, do I try to uh, pander to the uh, competition rules or do I try to make the game that I feel that is actually worthy of the competition. Uh, I will say having the components forced me to take a look at the card games 
in a way that I don't normally look at because normally whenever my game designs I work on them especially for uh, card games I'm looking at trying to fit in a box nice clean no empty space nothing like that uh, but now I'm actually looking at uh, including like pawns, score trackers, stuff like that into a box that I had previously considered to remain empty, uh, except for cards. So that has kind of helped push me out uh, beyond some of my initial comfort zones. I will also say that of the competition, I had come up with five unique concepts, one of which just was not looking like I was going to be able to get together in time to actually enter the competition, which is sad because of the five, that is the one that seems to strike me as the most unique and intriguing, but I will be visiting that one after the competition is done, and hopefully that one turns out. Uh, now, having said that, of the five designs that I had come up with, pending the test on the fifth, of course, I have over half of them that look like worthy games to actually push forward with. So Zudaman will likely be getting better artwork as time goes by, unless of course it gets signed from this competition, but considering my luck with publishers so far, not really looking at that to happen. Um, likewise, Panduiki, I really enjoy and I really want to uh, kind of push the pulp concept of the artwork because I haven't really done any uh, pulp style artwork in a long time and I want to see if I'm actually capable of it. Uh, and then finally the uh, one game that I'm going to go ahead and retire one of my previous game designs called uh, Utopia Grind uh, was an okay concept but just didn't really do what I wanted it to do and the title itself seems to work more towards that prototype so I guess this is Utopia Grind uh, 2.0 uh, so the competition as far as me as a designer has actually helped push forward a few other designs I always have a design that I'm trying to get done, trying to get finished, and this seems to be no exception from the competition. However, hopefully this competition will help gain me some of the exposure and stuff like that. and Maybe uh, more people could track me down, see some of my games, what I'm about. Uh, I guess my task post-competition is well, reformatting my computer that's currently uh, screwing up. But after that, uh, maybe revamping my website, which is uh, twitchfactory.com, where I have a lot of my game designs uh, out on display. Just not a lot of people know about the website, and likewise, the website hasn't been updated since, uh, I want to say, slightly prior to Protospiel Ann Arbor. I'll also say that all of the design comp uh, all the designs that I came up with for this competition, I will be bringing up with me to uh, Protospiel Milwaukee, uh, so along with a few other games, hopefully Fashion Monster. I don't know yet. Uh, so that's it for me now. I'm just trucking along on the artwork, and hopefully I'll have more artwork to post. Uh, as well as some <clears throat> second uh, playthrough impressions as we try out the next version of, of the games themselves. Uh, so as you can probably tell, it's getting kind of late for me here. So I'm going to go ahead and log off. Talk to you later. Bye.